We're about to give a tour of the Oklahoma football facilities. He's a kicker, I'm a punter. Let's do this thing. This is how you get in. You gotta make sure you have a finger scanner. And to do that, you have to be part of the roster or one of these staff members. Second layer of doors here. Did you just try to push? He just tried to push after all these. And now, we're at the front of the facilities relative to where you're walking in. And it's a pretty nice area, as you can see. 10 plus win seasons. Looks like OU's at the top there, tied with Bama. USC. Pretty good company. Yeah, USC's up there, uh, fifth on the list, but I uh, can't remember the last time they've been relevant. <laughs> Now for this virtual tour, go ahead and put the keys on. You guys are now in Heisman trophies. Obviously, at Oklahoma, there's been countless Heisman winners. People don't know what it is to be champion. Oklahoma invented it. Green, go ahead. Right here is most of the NFL jerseys of people who played Oklahoma who are currently on an NFL roster. As you can see, there's a lot. Dang, that's pretty good, bro. Humble yourself, therefore, in the mighty hand of God that he may lift you up in due time. That's a good yeah, bad Basically, what this wall says is go to Oklahoma if this is your goal. Now, before going to the locker room and other parts of the facility, the team room. Oh, Gavin. What you doing here, bro? Watching film or something? No, you're watching hang time videos, aren't you? Every time I come in here, I have to punt that football. Most guys hit it with their hand, but I punt it personally. Gavin, do you kick it or what do you do? I hit it with my hand, I run down on kickoff. Seats are super comfy. This wall also opens up to make the team meeting room bigger if you want to have the entire team in here, but right now it's split in half and you get cookies in team meeting if you get the answer right. So let's see if you get this answer right. If you're in a race, you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? Second place. You do not want to doze off in meetings. You want to make sure you are wide awake and alert because if you doze off, they will see you and that's a terrible look. So that's a pro tip from anybody who's trying to play D1 football and really that's not even a pro tip. That's pretty much common sense. And remember, facilities are cool and all, but really at Oklahoma here, the man makes the brand. We are sponsored by Jordan. So as you can see, Gavin, do you know anything about Jordans? Because to be honest, guys, I don't really know much about shoes either, except I know that these are busting, okay? Like, look at these, come on. That's pretty sick. So comment down below your favorite pair. I don't know which pair is the most expensive or which one's the nicest, but there sure is a lot of them. Now we're walking over here towards the equipment room, and in a second, we'll be in the locker room, but this is the equipment room area. This is where we walk every morning to get our loop. You gotta make sure you're on time in the mornings for workouts. Demonstrate your lockbox once. So basically, there's a lockbox. You type in your code, you open that bad boy up, and that's where you get your loop. Yeah, there's nothing in there right now because there's the weekend. These are some of the things, not all, not all, but these are some of the things you do receive. Basically, back there, they have a bunch of stuff. If you need something, you can ring the doorbell. Back there, they have extra shirts, shoes, socks, footballs, helmets, shoulder pads, all the stuff that you would imagine that we would need. Check it out. It looks like real quick, this is the practice field area. It's really nice how it's so close to everything. You walk out of the locker room and then 10 steps later, you're at the practice field. Here you can see this practice field is gorgeous. And there's my dorm right there. So this is prime location. Gavin, can you demonstrate a 70 yard kickoff right now? I think I took it over the... <laughs> Gavin, let's see a move here. Wow, I'm not sure that's what that's for. Run through that. Demonstrate how a kicker runs through the... <laughs> Fake field goal. Get the first down, get the first down. Nice form, bro. Now when practice is over, we sit here and take off our cleats because there's no cleats to lab inside the building. Ain't that right? Here is the Greg H. Johnson family recovery pool. This is attached to the locker room, so it's a prime location. Boom. Boo. Hot tub, cold tub. We also keep it dark in here to make it more relaxing. There's TVs playing so you can watch Back to the Future, whatever you want to watch while you're hot tub or cold tubbing. Whoa, Gavin, be careful, bro. Actually, jump in, I dare you, it'd be funny. And if you don't want a hot tub in the dark, you can click that button and now, voila, all the lights are on. But I prefer it like this. Onward to the locker room. So before you go into the locker room, there's a really nice bathroom set up because with all this protein shakes, food, and nutrition they give us, we utilize these bathrooms quite a bit. And <laughs> <laughs> Boom, just like that, we're in the locker room. Now guys, this is the state of the art locker room right here. As you can see, it's pretty busting. Gavin, let's see your locker. Where's your locker at? Here's my locker. I'm gonna take a guess and this is not your... <laughs> As you can see at the lockers, they do have a picture of yourself on the locker to identify. Gavin's looks a little creepy, but pretty cool, bro. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. And there is a bunch of different compartments in this locker, including a spot to put your cleats. Why is there underwear on your cleats? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a gander of what our full uniform looks like. They and tried to, They tried to kind of mold this after me, so you see the huge arm. It's kind of hard to see, but here's OU ingrained on the ceiling. This locker room's pretty big. I hope the camera's doing it justice just how big it is. So you can put stuff in here. I know mine's not the cleanest, but basically I don't have that much in here, so it's not that bad. Here's where you put your helmet, obviously. And then also I have a little Bible verse here. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Go look that up if you haven't. Open this thing up. Open that up. That is where shoulder pads. my shoulder pads are. Is there your old banana still in here? No. So this is where you keep your valuables. And there's a charging port in there. 
I personally like my spot in the locker room because look, I am right next to the players lounge. The place where we can chill, hang out, and just rest until class, whatever you got going on. Gavin's over here playing a game of basketball. If you miss, you have to subscribe, go. Oh, dude, subscribe anyway, come on. Ice in the vein. Let me show you how to play this game if you're a kicker or a punter. Instead of shooting with your hand, you actually shoot with your foot like this. Over here, there's a TV, but with an Xbox in case you want to play some video games, Madden. Hey, what up, Kyle? If you're in here and want a drink, you can go ahead and grab a water, or if you're feeling frisky, you can come over here and grab a Gatorade. Personally, I like to drink waters more, but I'm actually pretty parched, so I'll take a Gatorade as well. We are now in... This is where we actually run out before the game, so let's go and show them So in this hallway, everyone is lit, there's lights are on stuff, and we're pumped up to go play a football game, because we're about to go hit some people. And me specifically, I'm about to go... Let's go hit a football off my foot. Let's keep going here. Before we run out of the tunnel, so when you come out here, people are yelling their heads off. It's very loud, okay? And it's actually a lot of fun because the smoke comes out here and the section of fans is right above us. Usually this gate is open, but here we run out. And as you can imagine, it's pretty lit. Now this facility is huge, so there's layers to this. So now we're going upstairs. Gavin, what do we do upstairs? Eat grilled cheese sandwiches. After a long day of practice and working out, you are really hungry, so you gotta come to the Champions Club to get some grub. Champions. That, oh, that rhymed. Champions Club to get some grub. I'm about to get this dub. We're here in the cafeteria. As you guys can see, it's pretty large because we have a large team. So we also do team activities and stuff in here. We have like a 3.0 GPA dinner. Yes, we were invited to that. Gavin and I sat at the 3.0 table, even though I don't think he has a 3.0, but we're here. And uh, the food's obviously not out right now because it's a Saturday, <laughs> but sorry, bro. I didn't mean it. You do have a, one. You do have a 3.0. I'm sorry. Typically, this is where the food is. That's where the food is. And that's where the food is down there. There's a lot of food here, to say the least. There is some peanut butter out, though. So if you weren't, if you were hungry, Gavin, here you go, brother. A lot more drinks up here because you got to stay hydrated as a D1 athlete. Ain't that right? During the season, we will also have massages in here. You can sign up for a massage a few times a week. This is the coach's floor up here are all the coaches. Coach Venables is calling me. It's a clean picture right there, it's a clean picture. What? We're kinda scared. Go in, I dare you. I'm going in at four o'clock on Tuesday. Go in right now. No. Boom! As you guys can see, we're at the stadium now, and right now it's pretty empty. Well, actually, it's very empty except for me and Gavin. But on game day, we Sooner think. Nation gets rowdy up in here. Sooner Nation gets rowdy. I challenge any other college football community or fans to Sooner Nation, and don't compare! And here is the weight room. As you can see on these racks, there's custom Oklahoma plates. We have drinks. Snacks, protein shakes up in here. The recovery machines like this power plate and then this one which vibrates when you put your leg on it. Different extra machines here. As you guys can see, there's also an indoor turf in here. That's the standard 